Hi, we're going to continue the sequence. This is the part three of the video about arithmetical sequence. What is an arithmetical sequence? Arithmetical sequence is a sequence where you have the first number, a first number like here, and you are add, adding each time the same number. For example, in the first example, we are adding plus seven each time. Here we are adding each time plus nine. Here I'm starting by 48. I'm adding each time minus nine and so on. So always uh, this number we are adding is called D, it's called common difference. And if I want to write the sequence in recursive form, what do I say? Suppose the first term is 7. So here AN is equal to the term before AN minus 1 plus 7. Or I can say AN plus 1 equal AN plus 7 or a n plus 2 equal a n plus 1 plus 7. Here I can say the first term is 2 and a n equal the term before a n minus 1 plus 9 etc. So writing it recursively is very simple when you have arithmetical sequence. Any term equal the term before plus the common difference d. You can read this by yourself from this uh, proof here we can write it in, in explicit form in terms of n in explicit form uh, this is the general formula if i'm going to start by a1 a n equal a1 the first term plus n is the number of terms minus one into d but if i want to write it a formula because sometimes the first term will be a1 and sometimes will be a0 so suppose the first term is a k so a n a n it means coming after a k uh, is equal the first term a k plus i do the difference here n minus k into d so if the first term is one it will be n minus one into d if the first term is a zero so a n equal a zero plus n d for example if i go up i want to find for example here the 20th term because the first term is a one so i say a 20 a 20 equal the first term which is a1 a1 here is 7 i do 20 minus k 20 minus a1 so 19 times d d here is i'm um, adding each time 7 common difference so in this case you can find by this formula by this formula here any term uh, you want so let let us say if you start by a1 it will be n minus 1 into d if you start by a a0 it will be n times d we can prove also the sum of the first n terms of a sequence suppose you have the sum of the terms. you have two formulas either you use this one or that one but Anna, i will be going to use uh, the first one always it will be the number of terms i have in the sequence over two the first term plus the last term uh, we're going to see all of these in examples it will, it's very simple what i'm saying uh, and something else if you have this is an arithmetical sequence i'm adding each time three here i have uh, seven numbers so if you add the boundaries two plus 20 is 22 if you add five plus 17 i mean here if you add 5 plus 20, 22. 5 uh, plus 17, 22. 8 plus 14, 22. Remains here one medal. You, you multiply it by 2. All are the same. This is one of the properties of arithmetical sequence. For example, if you have 2, x, y. I told you this is an arithmetic, uh, not y, suppose it's 10. I told you this is an arithmetical sequence. Find x. You're going to say 2 plus 10 is a 12 equal double of the middle which is 2x so x in that case will be 6 so let us continue sigma sigma notation you saw it maybe before sigma is the sum of the terms for example if i have sigma from k equal to 3 till 7 of 2k minus 5 it means i have a sum this is called series it's a sum Every time we do a sum of sequence, it's called series. So I start by k equal to 3, I replace it here. So 6 minus 5. Then plus, after 3, I have 4. 8 minus 5. Then after 4, I have 5. So it will be 10 minus 5. Then 6, 12 minus 5. And the last one here, I stop at 7, 14 minus 5. How many terms I have? Always I do upper 
minus below plus one. So I'm start. I have seven. I'm starting by three. So how many terms? Seven minus three plus one. Always above minus below plus one. It will be seven minus three is four plus one five. So one, two, three, four, five. It's the sum of the first five terms. So let us go to application problems of everything we we took before given a sequence write a n in explicit and recursive form so first of all if i do 11 minus 2 and 20 minus 11 and 29 minus 20 38 minus 29 all are the same equal to 9 so this is an arithmetical sequence whose common difference is n and they told me write a n in explicit and recursive first of all i'm going to start by the simplest one by the recursive recursive so i have here they said n bigger or equal to zero so the first term is two and a any terms a n plus one minus the term before equal to what to n you can say a n minus a n minus one equal to common to the to the, the the difference between any two consecutive terms is equal to the common ratio which uh, common difference which is uh, nine so here you can say any term a n plus one minus a n equal to nine or a n minus a n minus one equal to nine. So this is called recursive. In explicit, I must use the relation in terms of n because the first term is zero. So it's a n equal a zero plus n d as we set up. So here the first term a zero is two and d I'm adding each time nine. So it will be two plus nine a nine n. So this formula, I use it to find any term. Then they said find the tenth term of this sequence. So I, I want the tenth term. So I want to find a nine. Why a nine? I don't put here ten because the term the sequence is starting by a zero. If the start if the sequence starting by a zero, the ninth uh, the tenth term will be a nine. So a nine I replace here and by ten. So two plus nine into ten it will be nineteen. Uh, the, then in part C. They uh, sorry, it will be two plus nine times ten. It will be ninety-two, because here I replace uh, n by by ten. Which term has a value of one seventy-three? So I want to find a n. So I put one seventy-three for a n equal a zero, which I know which is two. D is nine, as we said, nine n. So if I solve for n here, I'm going to get. 19 so a 19 is 173 and a 19 is which term is the 20th 20th term why 20th because i'm starting by a zero here find the sum of the first seven terms because i'm starting by a zero the count will stop at addition at a six from a zero till a six the formula of the sum as you all know is n over 2 the first term plus the last term that we wrote it up how many terms i have i have seven so seven over two 3.5 the first term as you know two remains to find the seventh term which is a6 so i use this formula a6 equal 2 plus 9 into 6 so it is 56 so i replace it i get 2 or 3 the last part of this example is to write the above sequence for the first 20 terms in sigma notation. Sigma notation, I write the explicit 2 plus 9n. They said we're going to start by 0. So what do I put up the 20th term? The 20th term, you all know it's 19. Let us check. We do upper minus below plus 1. 19 minus 0 plus 1 is 20. Another example but where d is negative sequence is decreasing so here as you can see 7 minus 10 4 minus 7 1 minus 4 minus 2 minus 1 all are co equal to minus 3 which is the common difference write it in explicit and recursive i'm going to start by recursive the first term here they said n bigger equal to 1 the first term is 10 and any term, for example, uh, any term is equal the term before plus uh, the number or any term minus the term before equal to D. So if you can take the first term to be a n plus one, a n plus one minus a n the term before equal minus three. Or you can say a n minus the term before a n minus one equal minus three. It's up to you to decide which n you want to put. Write it in explicit form. In explicit form, you want to write the formula. Here, the formula is a n because the first term is a one, so I do n minus one into d. A one is ten. Uh, d we all know it's minus three. So if I expand, it will be thirteen minus thirty three n. 
Find the 12th term because the first term is A1, the, the 12th term is A12, not A11. It will be A11 if the first term is A0. So I replace here n by 12, I get the answer. Which term is equal minus 65? So An here minus 65 equal 13 minus 3n. So n will be 26. So the 26 terms is minus 65. Find the sum of the first 15 terms. So from A1 till A15, the formula is n over 2. A1 I have it, which is 10. The n I have it, which is 15 over 2 will be 7.5. Remains to find the 15th term. So A15 equal 13 minus 3 times 15, which is minus 32. So I replace it. I get minus 165. Write in sigma notation the first 25 terms. So I must write it in sigma. So I use the explicit form. I write it as it is. I want the first 25. So from k equal 1, I stop to 25. Why I stop to 25? Because I do 25 minus 1 plus 1 is a 25. So from 1 till 25, how many terms you have? 25. This is written in sigma notation. Here, find the sum of that sequence. So if I do it, if I replace k by 3, uh, so 3 times 3 uh, is 9 plus 5, 14. Then 4, it will be 4 times 3 plus 5, 17, uh, and so on. 20. You can see I have an arithmetical sequence where D is, I'm adding each time, I'm adding 3. So I want to find the sum of a sequence whose first term is uh, 14, common difference, uh, common difference is a 3, and number of terms, how many terms I have from here to here, 15 minus 3 plus 1, it will be 13 terms now, because 15 minus 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So the formula n over 2, which is 13 over 2, is 6.5. The first term is 14. The last term is 50, which is 416. Here, the same thing. If you replace k by 10, minus 20, plus 8, minus 12, then k by 11, and so on. You can see you have an arithmetical sequence. Each time you are adding minus 2. The first term is minus 12. And number of terms is 25 minus 10 plus 1. So it is uh, 16. So it will be 16 over 2, the first term plus the last term, it will be minus 432. To finish, what does it mean insert M arithmetical means? Anybody between two numbers A and B, and here we have M arithmetical mean. It means if I'm going to give you any two numbers, whatever the two numbers are, are I will tell you please insert here M numbers so that you can write an arithmetical sequence. So, this is the formula. We got it from the main one, a n equal a1 plus n minus 1d. Let us take example and apply it. Insert four arithmetical means between 3 and 7. So I need to find the common difference. So d equal. This is a, this is b. So I do 7 minus 3. How many arithmetical means I want to add? 4. So 4 plus 1, 5. So 0 0.8. Let us check if my work is correct. The first number is a 3. To be arithmetical sequence, I must, must add 0 0.8. So 3.8 plus 0 0.8, 4.6. Plus 0 0.8 is 5.4. Plus 0 0.8, 6.2. Plus 0 0.8 is 7. So the first term is a 3. The last term is 7. And how many terms in between? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the arithmetical sequence. And we took the sum, which is called arithmetical series. And uh, I gave you mainly the, the most important problems that you may face. And I'm going to see you in the last video. It's talk about geometric sequence and geometric series. Thank you for listening.